<laughs> yes, yes, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. <laughs> Yeah, and tonight I'm going to talk about tonight's game two of the NLCS. You had the Atlanta Braves beating the Los Angeles Dodgers five to four uh, in a second straight walk off, this time by Eddie Rosario to take a two games to none lead in this NLCS. Mm. Before I get into this video for everyone, if you want to follow me on my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, uh, so feel free to DM me. And whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Come out and let your bar. Also, if you're a Madden 22 player on Xbox One, I'm going to have my Xbox One gamer tag down in the description box also. Uh, Y'all going to hear a beeping noise throughout this video. Uh, please disregard that, and I do apologize for the inconvenience. Man, this is such a big win, yo. Um, This is such a big win on so many accounts. Like, I feel good, man. This ain't like last year where, you know, we in a bubble. We playing in the same stadium for all seven games. We playing seven games in a row. And we all know we were up 2-0. We blew the 3-1 lead, yada, yada, yada. I get all that. Like, this, what makes this win feel so good is that worst, let's say worst case scenario, <clears throat> the Braves go to Dodger Stadium and lose all three games. Let's just say worst case scenario. We It feels good now to know that you have a game six and a potential game seven in your back pocket at home. In, in, in Truist Park, not in, in, in the bubble in Dallas, but in Truist Park. And you see how rocking that crowd was tonight. That's that that's big for us to get this win from that standpoint. It's also big for us to show them, like, we and I felt, though we were facing Scherzer, I felt good as far as we seen him a lot. <laughs> like, he was a pitcher for the Washington Nationals for years, and especially our big hitters, we seen him a lot. And it gave me some, um, you know, it gave me a little bit of confidence as far as, you know, we're going to break through on him a little bit, yo. And Jock Tober does it again. <laughs> Jock Peterson just smashes a two-run home run, nearly smashed one earlier that just went foul um, to, give, to tie the game up at two after Corey Seager for them, who constantly is, is, is destroying us. Hits a two run shot and um man just what a what a that bad what a hit for Peterson just to tie this game up. Uh then you look again, man. Um was it what the seventh inning or the eighth inning or whatever inning it was? The Dodgers with uh Chris Taylor, another guy who's been on fire, gets a hit, gives them a four or two lead. And we're going up against Urail and, and and you know, um Grand Grand Thor, whatever his name is, and Jansen. And we get two in the bottom of the eight to tie this thing up, yo. You know, it was the top of the seven they scored. We get two in the bottom of the eight, man. To, to Austin Riley comes through in the clutch again. Ryan Washington is crazy at third base, but it worked out. Both guys got in safely. Uh, then we go to the ninth. And Will Smith, I tell you what, all season long, Will Smith has made my heart race. Uh, I was I was fed up with him as a closer, but I tell you what, in this postseason where it matters the most, he's been very good, yo. And in the top of the night, he went out there and he shut it down for us, yo. Kept him at bay for the full. Uh, get the hit from Trump Darno Darno. Pache runs, he gets out, field his choice, and of course Eddie Rosario, who was the the player of the game tonight, big time performance. Walk off single, four hits tonight, hitting in that leadoff spot with us missing Jorge Soler um, in this series. That was just absolutely big time for him. Um, a guy that we shout out to Double A again, bringing these guys in, uh, bringing in Jock Peterson, bringing in Eddie Rosario, bringing back Adam Duvall. You know, uh, bringing in Soler though he's 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 out right now. 
but bringing in Sarlene, who's been big for us, you got to give Double A a lot of credit. Uh, this team was down. And now, you know, if you would have told me in the middle of the season that, hey, you know, y'all going to have a 2 0 lead in the NLCS against the Dodgers, I'd have been like, this team, <laughs> like, with all these injuries and adversity, nah, but it just goes to show you, man. Um, Sniz done a great job. Double A done a great job. Um, and we going for it, man. We trying to get it done. Um, also, I like the move with, with Ian Anderson. Only He only pitched two innings tonight. I like the move because you could have seen that Ian didn't really have his best stuff tonight. You could have seen it with a, do a lineup like the Dodgers. You can't really play around with that, yo. Like, you cannot play around with, oh, maybe you're going to figure it out in the, in the next inning or something like that. If you ain't looking sharp, we got to get you out. If you're looking sharp, we keep rolling with you. That's just how it is. You know, it is postseason. Uh, I love it for Snit. I love that Snit did that for us, yo. Um, bullpen, obviously, was was really, really good. We had the one issue in the top of the seven, but overall, the bullpen was very good. Just a big win, man. Like, this win is just so huge to beat Scherzer, who, who doesn't lose, who the Dodgers just don't really lose like that when he pitches. You know, um... To beat him, to to you know, to to walk off on this team twice, to win both games at home, knowing, like I say, worst case scenario in this series, you have a game six and a potential game seven in your back pocket at home. Um, that just brings it brings a lot of confidence, just a lot of energy. Look, let's go get one over there at Dodger Stadium, yo. That's been a house of horrors for us the last few years. But let's go over there. This team is playing with a lot of confidence right now. Look, the Dodgers are really good. I get that. Uh, but let, let's go out there and try to try to get it done over there, man. Let's let's get it done. Let's get one over there and really put the stranglehold on this team, <laughs> man. But just I'm so happy right now. I'm so proud of this team. Two or lead on the Dodgers, and I, I like. I feel like we know what happened last year, so we gonna be cautious of that. Plus, we're not in the bubble, but. We'll see. Game three is huge. Um, coming up on Tuesday, I love the fact that we do have a veteran, Charlie Martin, on the mound, though. Uh, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. We have Atlanta Braves, MOB, and content from my other three teams throughout the year. Also, uh, tomorrow and every Monday, 6.30 p.m. Central to 7.30 p.m. Central, I'm going to do a live Q&A. Yo, come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything, I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout out on the live. Y'all should join me, it'll be some good stuff. Also, on Sundays and every Sunday from 10 a.m. Central to 12 p.m. Central, I co-host a weekly radio show, Big Time Sports Talk. Um, Y'all download with Mike, with host Mike the Bandit, y'all download the ESPN 1420 app. Uh, come check it out, yo. Until then, y'all have a blessed one. Go Braves.